Hello, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Tuesday, July 21st, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. If you want to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Okay, let's solve a puzzle. Blank ask and ye shall receive. Anderson Cooper is on CNN. Let's see, place to play spoons? What is that? I'm not sure I know what playing spoons is. Quick scissors, cut, that's just a snip, I suppose. Circus routines are acts, great. Command to a dog, speak, that makes sense. Beach bucket full, I guess sand is in a, is it just knee? What does spoons mean? Um, 2020, for example, is a tie score. Okay, prefix eco, this is going down easily so far. Uh, who's this, Ice tea. Okay, good. Prepare as rice. Is that you steam rice? Badminton court fixtures are nets. This is very easy. Contract specifics are terms. Let's see. Spice in pumpkin pie. What is that? Um, not malt. What is that? Uh, things with Thomas Jefferson. That's nickels. Um, nickels. Okay, great. 2020, for example. Oh, is this like all going to be different interpretations of 2020? That could be interesting. And what's 2020? I feel like I've seen this before. It's a news something. News program. What is it? Have on is where. Great. Okay, let's go over here, perhaps. Kind of card in a smartphone. That's a SIM card. Part of a garment with instructions on care. Part of a garment. That's the tag. Okay. Like bread used for stuffing. Stale. Okay, that's Eddie Redmayne. Uh, Thursday's Friday. That's like as easy as it gets. Let's, come on. Let's give a little trickery here. Get down pat is learn. Good. Okay, whoops. That's that's great to hear. Um, I'm glad. Great. Used an old phone is dialed. That, that is a, a good clue. Uh, Dora the Explorer cousin. I don't know. Uh, other characters on Dora the Explorer. Raring to go. All... All what? All something. And 2020 is a news magazine, maybe? Oops. Magazine. Okay, cool. Worst possible mark on a test? Well, I have a Z. I'm not really sure what to do with it. Uh, leave... Oh, zero, of course. I should have gotten that sooner. Litter box emanation is an odor. Okay, airplane seat attachment, a tray. Great, made in the USA. That'll cost you. Okay, standing tall is erect. Uh, leave wide-eyed is all. Oh, man, this is going down so quickly. Clean up hitter's attribute is a uh, what, power, maybe? Is that all it is, power? And this is all fired up. That's a great crossword entry, all fired up. Uh, this is, why am I not seeing this though? It's annoying. This looks like an N. Dingo seems like a name. Uh, all right. Calf length pants are capris. Cool. And then this is, um, do I just not know? Oh, Diego and Mace. I know Mace as like a weapon. So what, uh, I did not know it was a spice in pumpkin pie. Interesting. All right, that was maybe our first tricky clue of the day, at least for me. Dilly dally is dawdle. Nice, I like that word. Come on, man, dude. Gross, ugh. A lot of exclamations. Taj Express City, that's Agra. Party pooper is maybe a drag or a drip. Um, guru looks good. Enjoy thoroughly is eat up. I'm curious what the other 2020s are gonna be. There's gotta be eyesight somewhere and then what would the other one be like maybe a ratio meaning 20 divided by 20 is one I'm just guessing comment made while shaking the head i feel like that could be a few things let's clean up this middle section frugal sword is going to be a saver pilot's announcement maybe estimated time of arrival oh cool we got one in here and it was a ratio awesome i was not expecting this little guy to be a theme uh entry jacqueline kennedy she went to vassar Sounds good. Nickname for Alexandra. I do not know that. Sasha. I did know it, actually. Didn't expect to see you here. Oh, hi. Okay, Humpty Dumpty. Uh, device for reproducing ones. It's a shame that you can't, there's almost no other clue for Humpty. Like, this is the, pretty much the only legitimate clue for 
Hump Humpty um, is blank Dumpty. And it's a shame because Humpty is a cool entry in a crossword, and it'd be nice if it had like a less obvious clue. Device for reproducing one's signature. Audio something, autograph, auto something. It's gonna be auto something, but I'm not sure. Well, I declare my something maybe. Uh, zones are areas probably. Stir fry bit is a P. Okay, set straight. Is that just a line? What's this one gonna be? 2020. Don't see it. Are there two more 2020s? That's pretty impressive. Is 65 across also a 2020? Suffix meaning sort of ish. Okay, this is not a test. Uh, that's Bruce Lee. Tankful or tankerful is gas. No, it's not gas. Cause that doesn't make doesn't work. Like an old-fashioned clock is analog. Analog. Oil makes sense. Okay, good. Um, Chinese noodle dish is lo mein. Cool. Okay, classic Pittsburgh mill product. I'm not sure I, I know that. Uh, lab containers are vials. Cool. Oh, steel. They make steel in Pittsburgh. And then, uh, what is this? Common made while shaking the head. What uh, a shame. Oh, I had an error. I'm glad I saw that. What a shame. That's nice. Okay, 2020 is visual acuity. Nice. All right. Parts of some seniors' financial plans. IRAs. What a help center gets lots of calls. Is this also 2020? Wow, it's a year. Very cool. Um, but what is it? Something year. Deplete is use up. Reach across is span. Okay, lead into an alias is AKA Luke. Um, auto pen, I've never heard of that thing. A leap year, indeed. Okay, well, I declare my my. Wow, you don't see that four letter entry too, too often. Popular hair coloring technique. Not sure I know this. Top of the line. Uh, hit the slopes is ski. Okay, tool by a golf bunker? Is that a rake? What is it? Uh, point value of Z in Scrabble. That's 10, I believe. That's um, Aaron Andrews. I'm gonna say top of the line is best. Ombre, right. Popular hair coloring technique. All right, so that was our puzzle. Uh, and like yesterday, that was quite an easy puzzle. Uh, but I, I enjoyed it a lot. It's um, a, a very cool theme. So we've got all different interpretations of 2020. So there's a 20 dash 20, 20 slash 20 in quotes, 20 colon 20. Hmm. I guess that's that makes it a ratio as opposed to 20 slash 20, which was still a ratio, but uh, maybe the 20 to 20 makes it seem more like odds or something. I don't know. And then this one was the 20 slash 20 without quotes. And then this is 2020 with no punctuation in between the 20s. Um, I'm amazed, honestly, that there are, what is that, five? Five different interpretations of 2020 with some kind of punctuation. That is a very cool observation and um, definitely worthwhile making a crossword theme out of it. Uh, the, let's see, the theme entries are all pretty reasonable. Tie score is definitely legitimate, news magazine. Um, ratio is just a little baby entry, but that's, um, it still perfectly fits the theme, it works. Visual acuity maybe is a slight stretch, just because that's not, that's not such a snappy phrase that, like, we all have on the tip of our tongue. Um, but I, it, it works, and sometimes you gotta stretch a little bit to make things, uh, fit in a crossword puzzle symmetrically. And leap year is obviously a real thing, and a cool way to incorporate the present year into a puzzle. It would have been a shame, honestly, if this puzzle had run on uh, any other year. This does make me curious if other years could, you could do something similar, you know, make one for every New Year's or something, a 2021 puzzle, come up with five different interpretations of 2021, although I'll bet they don't really exist, honestly. 2020 is actually pretty special in that uh, it was a news magazine, tie score, visual acuity, very cool. Um, uh, just, I like, I don't know, I like fresh themes and this, this felt fresh to me. 
This puzzle had solid extra fill. Uh, there's not a ton of long entries in the puzzle. There are basically two, but they are used very well. Um, what a shame and All Fired Up are both excellent crossword entries. They're both um, modern. You can almost hear the conversation happening when you read these. Uh, they've got interesting letter combinations. These are great um, uses of long slots in a puzzle. Um, the rest of the stuff, again, there's not much you can do with shorter stuff, but um, it was totally fine. You know, we had I'm Glad, I like the word Dawdle, uh, we had Vassar with a good trivia clue. Uh, what else do we have? Auto Pen. I don't really know what an auto pen is. I suppose it's kind of like interesting to learn, but uh, it f felt like it was inferable, but I really have no idea what this thing is. Um, I was happy to, happy to see old Humpty make an appearance. Uh, so I'd say the fill was solid. You know, there wasn't much you could do. It was a pretty dense theme, and uh, with these two bonus, these two bonuses were used as well as they could have been. And actually, looking around, uh, it is very impressive how clean the fill is on this puzzle. Like, um, honestly, it's yeah, it's extremely clean. Uh, and given that it's a very good theme and has two nice uh, bonus entries in it, um, I'm impressed. And I mean, I shouldn't be. This constructor is well known for making amazingly clean puzzles. But yeah, there's there's honestly there's nothing to gripe about here. The clues were pretty straightforward on this puzzle. Um, I think this puzzle was very easy, easier than Tuesday's need to be. Um, and that's fine, it's okay to have some variation, but uh, none of the clues stood out. The only one I think that stood out to me was the spice and pumpkin pie. Just, this was new to me. I know May says either the spray or that like, um, I th think that ball, uh, that spiky ball that you can swing at people in medieval times is also called a mace. Um, I didn't know that there was a spice and pumpkin pie called mace. But other than that, um, I think all the clues were quite straightforward. So I really think the, the thing to talk about with this puzzle is the theme. Uh, it was very clever, and um, the rest of the puzzle just held together nicely, uh, and I love seeing fresh themes. You know, you do a thousand crossword puzzles and you think that nobody can ever come up with anything novel, and then you see something novel, and that's just a great feeling and it keeps you coming back tomorrow. And speaking of that, I will be back tomorrow. I make these every Monday through Thursday, so if you're new here and uh, you're interested in seeing more, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to do that. I also make videos about other kinds of puzzles, so logic puzzles, chess puzzles, things like that. Thank you so much for watching.